Gwen and Blake seem like the perfect couple, but their relationship came out of something so humiliating. The allegations against Gavin Rossdale are explosive. It was in shock. It felt like he was exposing me. Gavin had a three-year affair with their nanny. And the tabloids went insane. So the, what happened? Oh my no. God, well, was I'm it, not gonna go into detail. What? Gavin Rossdale has a teenage love child. The worst part is also that it was in your home. If you think there's a remarkable physical resemblance, you're right. Everyone is acting like it's true and looking at her like it's true. But the media got it wrong. People don't know what Gwen really went through. It has been this tragic thing. Like six, seven, eight months of torture trying to figure out this big secret. I wanted to be in my bed crying. Mm -hmm. And what really brought Gwen and Blake together. Just four months after the announcement of their divorce. She found love with a certain coworker. The media really treated it as like a rebound. That's the way celebrities get publicity. It, it seemed like too perfect of a story. But there was all this stuff that was happening. Why am I so unlucky in love? This is the real life story behind the tabloids. I had this huge weight on me. Right. Of, and nobody, nobody knew. Nobody but my parents and like obviously everybody involved. And then we all sat down. We were mic'd up and everything and Blake's like, I gotta talk to you guys. And he basically made his announcement. About uh, leaving Miranda. I think I might have like went white. It was in shock because it felt like he was exposing me. When Blake told the voice team about his divorce, he had no idea that Gwen was going through the same thing. And then two weeks later, Gwen announced her divorce. And then three months after that, like almost to the day, they go public with their relationship. That's the ex-husband? Yeah, so that's Gavin Rossdale. TMZ reported that he thought she might have been cheating on him before because they got together so fast. Someone who's just divorced and then now rushing into a relationship, for me, that's like a red flag. But there was some insane stuff that came out after they got divorced. Gwen had actually been dealing with all this stuff behind the scenes that we didn't know about for months. And it's not like a only a year-long marriage. Like no, they, they were together, together for, for 20 years. They met in the mid-90s. She'd only ever had one boyfriend, and she was still living at home with her parents when she met Gavin. When I got in my second relationship, it was so many insecurities with so much um, cheating. So I think those made me super insecure just about myself. Because when someone does that, you question who you are. I guess if you have a past of that, you'd be like, maybe the same person will do it again. So Gwen wrote their first big hit album, Tragic Kingdom, about Tony. And then their next album after that was all about Gavin and her wanting to settle down, be a mom and have kids. But two years after they got married, they got some surprising news. Gavin Rossdale has a teenage love child. His friend made him the godfather of her baby. Okay. And it turned out that they'd had like a fling and it was his baby. That's insane. When all of this happened, Gwen and Gavin didn't even have their own kids together. Even though the tabloids were meddling, they seemed to move on from it. Gwen finally had her family and she was having massive success in her career. Gwen's first solo album sold 309,000 copies in its first week. But when Gavin released an album the next year, his sold only 12,000 copies. She sets the bar so high for any kind of measure of success in our household. She takes every opportunity and turns it into gold. Do you need a woman to be totally focused on you? I think that I like that. So he marries know, the busiest woman in the world. No, but if you're together with someone, if you're married specifically, her success is your success as well. So you don't have to compete with your wife. Gwen admitted that even with all of her success, she did feel insecure about her songwriting during her marriage to Gavin. But on the outside, everything seemed to be going well. Gwen told Cosmo, we go through so much together, it's a miracle that we could stay together this long. But then six days later... My life blew up in my face, and then... When did it actually blow up in your face? The day after the Grammys. The day after? Mm -hmm. So the public didn't know about that then? Not for a long time, yeah. And we know that in August, she announced her divorce. She said it was the beginning of hell, like six, seven, eight months of torture trying to figure out this big secret. I mean, if it's big enough to end their whole uh, marriage, then... Us Magazine started reporting that Gavin had a three-year affair with their family nanny right under Gwen's nose, and even while she was pregnant with their youngest son. 
When this came out, the media went back to a photo that was taken in November 2012. So this is a photo of Gavin and the nanny on a hike and the tabloids went insane. They were all speculating on whether his hand was on her butt or the small of her back. It was a whole debate. I feel like how long did she stay with him knowing this? Gwen didn't want to get divorced. But on top of it, this is someone that's in your home. It's someone that you trust with your kids and they spent time together. Us Magazine reported that she found nude pictures and text messages on a family iPad and confronted Gavin. The Daily Mail even reported that when Gwen gave birth to their third son, Gavin left the hospital to sleep with the nanny. What? So we don't know if that's true, but they're reporting that that's what happened. Even publications like Vanity Fair and CNN were reporting it as fact. So I want to show you some of the media coverage that started coming out about all of this. It looks like the nanny, Mindy Mann, had morphed herself into a lookalike of her superstar boss. You don't think that they're gonna style steal and steal your man. Wow, I could not tell them apart. She's having to see all of this in public, flashed everywhere, when she said that her biggest insecurity in relationships was cheating. But the biggest thing in all of this was the way that the media, they felt like they had a right to this story. So the, what happened? Oh my no. God, well, was I'm it, not gonna go into detail. What, what, what happened that you will tell us? Oh, what I will tell you is that um, I was married for a long time and now I'm not. It was an abrupt yeah. moment. Yes. Got it. Yep. And, and one day you found out, whatever you found out. Oh my God, you are serious right now. This well, is like, I, it was so cold when I got in here and now I'm so <laughs> hot. I'm like, wow. But the, Something definitely happened she doesn't want to talk about. She's getting heated. And he's pushing her and pushing her. They never confirmed or denied whether the affair with the nanny was legit. But everyone is acting like it's true and looking at her like it's true. To see your face everywhere, to see people talking about you her 20-year relationship ended. The person that she thought she was gonna be with for the rest of her life, they have three kids together. They're suddenly getting divorced. Purpose. I just felt like such a loser, you know? I remember driving down Santa Monica Boulevard just crying my eyes out going, what am I doing right now? And I was like, why am I so unlucky in love? Like, mm -hmm. I have these perfectly married in love parents, my mm -hmm. this, this example of love my whole life, and then mine has been this tragic thing. That's why when Blake announced his divorce, Gwen naturally connected with what he was feeling. First, it was just they started emailing and they'd be like, I went through this today. Did you go through the same thing? And then they started talking more and more and more. Two high profile people like going through a divorce. You feel like you probably bond with that person a lot. We just started this friendship, which was just unbelievable that God would put us in a position to have each other at that and moment voice, no in way. that like in the same exact moment. I wasn't that, that trying was to so start a relationship, I was just, just trying to not die. She and I were able to, to save each other's lives and get ourselves through that, that time. He had written this song and sent it to me. He said, write the rest of it. It was a time when I was really insecure about writing. I just thought about what I felt and I just sent him back the verse that was basically to him. So I only started this song just to try to impress you. It worked. Like she really doesn't seem insecure with him. She deserves like someone who, who they really can like have a nice life together. Sometimes you reach a point where the most loving thing for you to do and the healthiest thing for you to do is to let go and to end the relationship. This is the most what I thought love was supposed to be. With the timing and the way that she and I met and came together and it just felt like home. To see on the other side was gonna be this. But I just feel so grateful. Now she seems so happy, she seems so settled. She's found like a partner and collaborator, somebody that she can work with personally and professionally to just bring each other to the next level.